Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra Kozma and I'm live here from my Facebook personal profile. So this is a new challenge for me and I gave the title for this video, it hits the spot. So I just finished uh, an 11 day Facebook live challenge on my Hungarian Facebook page. And I was sharing about my awakening experiences, the power of communication, our heart, and all these things. And I figured that it's time for me to take on a new challenge. It's been on my heart for a while to challenge myself with coming on live in English language too. And please, if you are here live or watch this video later, say hi so I can welcome you and I can interact with you and today's live is just about that. It hits the spot, meaning I love challenging myself with ideas, you know, following guidance in a way that I just know in my bones that it will bring about some deep transformation or maybe sometimes not so deep, sometimes it's just feeling some minor changes in our energies and so I love just asking for guidance and following guidance and this is the reason why I took on the challenge with the Facebook Live and it was very interesting because I've been creating videos for more than three years now on my Hungarian YouTube channel and last year I felt the nudge to start doing lives because that's completely different but even then I was just you know doing this in a way when I was in the mood and because my main type in Enneagram is type 4. I realized this summer when I was um, studying Enneagram in Hawaii. I mean, I wasn't there in Hawaii to study Enneagram. It was just a side thing that just came about. And I realized that to follow my moods, um, can be really wishy-washy thinking for myself that actually I'm following my intuition or I'm following my heart but it just takes me more deeper into the trance of the personality so that's why I challenge myself to commit myself to this mini project so to speak and it brought about such deep self-awareness about uh, how I'm actually sometimes more dedicated to perfectionism and wanting things to be perfect than taking on opportunities for growth and moving through deep patterns that are usually there and operating from the unconscious so it really helped me to move out of this habit of only uh, creating videos and talking about my experiences when I am you know there is an interval for our experiences that's what I feel most of the time like a higher and a lower interval where we can move and with inner work we can expand this container and embracing our shadow side uh, this higher interval just goes up 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 more and more so that's why I like to turn toward my shadow side and the fears and the shame and the guilt and the doubt and I realized that actually this commitment helped me a lot to face those feelings and not just come live 
when I'm in the mood. Because sometimes in the mood, you know, to have a makeup on and sometimes I'm not. And it's so good to know that I don't have to be perfect. I, I can play with it, you know, playfully just uh, play with makeup. And I can do it without it too, if I commit to this deeper desire of uh, facing fears and honoring commitments and playing with discipline, being the disciple of love, re reinterpreting it. So this is the reason why I'm going to do this with the English language too. And see what comes out of this challenge so this is my first English live and I have some practice now and it's exciting so anytime when you catch me live even just for a little while you know then just come and say hi so I can see who's here and tell me about your experiences with commitments and um, finding that challenge that hits the spot, you know. So that's why I'm titling this video this way because I always want to find the next step, the next guidance in a way that it hits that spot within that's hidden, that's unconscious. And with deepening my feeling nature, I can just know, you know, that if I take on something and if I'm, co I'm committing to it, something is going to be alchemized and transformed. So that's the reason for it. It has to hit that spot and I have to have the deep knowing to move forward with any project I'm doing, with any challenge. And then I can flow in it uh, playfully and we can see where it leads us. So let me know, you know, how it is for you, how you're choosing your next projects or next challenges. Do you have this feeling too? It has to hit that spot, something within that knowing or yeah, just jumping into it when someone triggers you. Can you look at it playfully, innocently and and just be open to more more wisdom to come through? So I love this approach. And this is my next project now. I think I'm gonna do it for a week and then I see what's what's the feel about it. So um, I also have an English language YouTube channel where I share vlogs and some of my experiences and whatever I was inspired to do. So I will link that in the comments and yeah, just come and say hi, let me know how you are with this topic. Okay, have a wonderful day. I hope this day hits some of your spots <laughs> so you can grow too and go deeper and finding who you truly are. So yes, that was it for today and I hit several spots today because I was moving through these blocks, you know, just doing something new. That's really helpful. And this was it for me today. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye.